he spent whole days in prayer, praying simply that the power of the Holy Ghost might come upon him so greatly that the Indians would not be able to refuse the gospel message. Yotonga, Anna, Wiener Kapo, my dear Native Americans, our time is so short. Oh, let us fill it up for God. Let us count the suffering of this present time as nothing. If we can but run our race and finish our course with joy, let us strive to live for God. I bless the Lord that I have nothing to do with this earth, but only to labor honestly in it for God. I think I do not desire to live one minute for anything this earth can afford, but to live for none but God till my dying moment. And I challenge you, these tribes, not to fear your medicine men, for they are only pretenders. Look, you medicine men, I dare you to strike me. I dare you to cause me to fall to my death, for you have no power over my God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Once I was a conjurer, and perhaps a better one than you, until I took Jesus and my witchcraft left me. And so is yours, if you got the word of God into your heart. God has given me, through his word, a clear view of eternity. I have seen the blessedness of the godly. But oh, what anguish is in my mind to think of an eternity for those that are Christless, for those that are mistaken, for those that have taken their false hopes to the graves with them. The sight is so dreadful, I can by no means bear it. Who can dwell with an everlasting burning? Let me beseech you now to examine whether indeed you are a new creature, whether you've ever acted above self, whether the glory of God has ever been the sweetest and the highest concern for you, whether you've ever reconciled to all the perfection of God. If you cannot answer positively, oh, consider the frequent breathing of your soul. And do not put yourself off for a slight answer. If you think that you are graceless, oh, give yourself in the throne of grace no rest till God arise and save. And be not discouraged when you see your elder brothers in the ministry die early, one after another. For I declare, now I am dying, and I would not have lived my life otherwise for the whole world. Take this line from your affectionate dying brother. He will come. He will not tarry. I shall soon be in glory. I shall soon glorify God with the angels. His diary influenced hundreds to yearn for the deeper life of prayer and communion with God and also moved scores of men to surrender for missionary work.